101. We chose to live in a democracy to overcome authoritarianism and dogmatism. But an abstract democratic order can be as arrogant and unjust as an extreme authoritarianism. Norberto A. Spinoza, 2018. Philosophy Professor. 102. General electoral result in the Germany of 1933, NSTAP, National German Socialist Workers' Party 43.91%, SPD, Social Democratic Party of Germany 18.25%, KPD, Communist Party of Germany 12.31%, Zentrum, Center Party 11.25%, DNVP, National Party of the German People 7.91%, BVP, Bavarian Popular Party 2.73%, DVP, German Popular Party 1.10%, CSV, Christian Popular Social Service, 0.98, DSDP, German Democratic Party, 0.85, other parties 0.64%. Data. 103. Politics is the art of governing humanity through deception. Isaac Disraeli, 1766-1848, English writer. 104. Democracy is a political regime for the good of all that guarantees instead the good of each faction, which in turn is detrimental to the common. Salvador Gina, 1934. Spanish sociologist and jurist. 105. Long live Franco. Excuse me. Fernando Vizcano Casas, 1926 to 2003, Spanish writer. 106. Totalitarianism is born from the denial of truth in an objective sense. John Paul II, 1920 to 2005, Polish Pope. 107. Those who believed that all eugenics responded to the harsh perfectionist and Malthusian model, strongly coercive implemented through restrictive public policies, compulsive human sterilization, prohibition of interracial and marital unions, selective immigration, etc., in desperate bid to impose the hereditary factor on the influence of the environment and education, they are wrong side by side. Sergio Secchetto, 1959-2009, Argentine writer and philosopher. 108. This press is absolutely slave and submissive to the rogue character of its owners. This press manipulates public opinion and this public opinion will be mobilized and divided into political parties. Adolf Hitler, 1889-1945, German Führer. 109. Imagine a kingdom ruled by a king named Karl the Incompetent. The monarch has good intentions and wants everyone to live as well as possible. Unfortunately he is ignorant, negligent and irresponsible, he does not think carefully about what he does and makes capricious and visceral decisions without stopping to analyze its consequences. He defends vehemently policies that are not based on evidence simply because they tend to reinforce his public image. Consequently, their subjects do not manage to live in peace, prosper economically or live a good life due to the bad decisions imposed by the well-meaning but incompetent monarch. Would it be fair to be subject to the rule of King Kyle? It would be reasonable to think that no. But what if those who imposed equally disparate and irrational decisions were not a monarch but an electoral body of millions of people? Would it be a fairer system? Ignacia Moncada, 2018 engineer and Spanish economist. 110. Except in exceptional circumstances, it is more empowering to find a $5 bill on the sidewalk than to have the right to vote. Jason Brennan, 1979. American philosopher, 